Hello and welcome to this video tutorial about creating and working with notebooks in Sesame. In this tutorial, we will be working in the Scheherazade module. Sesame's notebook view is an electronic laboratory notebook for storing, experiment, and other notes. To begin, let's create a new notebook. In the Options menu, scroll to New View and select Notebook. A new notebook window opens in the board. The upper part of the notebook window will show the pages of the current notebook. The bottom part of the notebook window will show all the data for the notebook page that's selected in the upper part of the notebook window. You may set any pages in the notebook to private by checking this box here. By default, these pages are viewable to everyone in your Sesame Lab unless this is set to private. Only the owner of the notebook page may change the privacy settings of their pages. Status is a drop-down list of notebook record status choices maintained by the Lab Master. For instance, active, inactive, or proposed. Make a selection. Type is a drop-down list of notebook record type choices, for example, projects at your own lab or external, future ideas, etc. Enter the title of the notebook page here. Let's save this now. Under Notebook, choose Save as New Notebook. The first fields for database number, parent number, root number, and lab are now auto-populated as well. Body is a free-form text field. Enter your lab notes here. The body part of the notebook may be edited for a limited time only. This content is automatically locked after a number of hours have passed. The default setting in Sesame is 8 hours, but a lab master may change this. The info field is a list of additional comments added to the notebook. To create an info entry, choose the green button to the right and add your information to the center column here. The info field may be used more frequently in some instances than in others. I'll save this new information now and select Save Notebook Page under the Notebook menu. Now that this is saved, you may email any note in the info field to the owner of the notebook automatically by choosing the button here with the yellow mailbox. The note is now emailed and the emailed box here is now checked. External References is a list of foreign IDs for the notebook record. To add, choose the green plus button to the right to add a row. Choose the applicable journal or source from the drop-down list. This list contains various public genomics and proteomics databases. I'll add a PubMed reference with a number and a PubMed Central reference as well. The external references are now included. Now we may call these up by pressing the blue eye button here. Linked items is a list of Sesame records that are linked to this notebook record. This table may contain links of any type that are related to this notebook and are relevant while working in your lab notebook. For example, a sample, a citation for a method that is mentioned in the notebook, the protein record, etc. I'll open a protein record to link to this notebook. To create a link between records, go to the linked items field in the record you want to link to and grab the row that starts with this record. Drag it to the notebook and drop it here in the title bar. Now these two records are linked, hence it is easy to navigate from one to the other. We just link this notebook with the protein record. 
I'll close the protein record and go back into my notebook. The link to the protein record shows here. Select the blue eye button here to reopen this. Next, we may attach files here in the Files field. There are a few ways to attach a file. If the file is in the computer's file system, select the green button here. A pop-up window opens to add the row. If you choose, enter a user label. This is a note entered when the file is attached. Choose a format for this file. I'll keep file selected here. Click into the file name field and then choose the file or files to upload and choose a file type. Click Add File. To add a file from a web address, choose the silver spiderweb button here. I'll enter a URL and the file is automatically uploaded now. We may open this file with the associated external program by selecting the row and pressing the button with the green arrow here. Let's move to images here. You can add images using the techniques I just showed from the file field. You may also drag and drop an image here into the record if it is already loaded in another record in Sesame. No need to upload the file again. This also works in the file field. Make the other record that contains the image active in the board. This is an image of an important gel scan attached to our protein record. Select the image from the image field of the other record and then drag and drop it into the notebook window's title bar. Now the image is attached. Choose the blue eye button to open this image in the board. We may download and save any of these images or files as well from this window. Let's go back to files. Just select the row and choose the yellow button with the down arrow here to save the file. We may also edit some fields in the record by selecting the pencil button to the right here. I'll add a user label to this file now and press update. Files may be deleted, but only by the user who attached the file. Select the row and choose the red minus button to the right here to remove the file. If a file is attached to multiple records, deleting it from this record will not delete it from the limbs. A file is deleted from the limbs permanently if and only if it is attached to only one record. You may add child pages to this notebook and a notebook may be built with as many child pages as are useful. If you wish to add a child page that does not contain the same content, choose Add New Child Page Clear. Or we may choose to make a child page that includes the content of the original notebook page. I'll go back to the first page and choose Add New Child Page Copy. Now, a child page is created under this page in the notebook with the same content as the first page. Creating a copy of a notebook page may provide options to edit earlier content that may now be locked or to revisit earlier work and make edits or additions. To mark the existing body content with quotes, you may choose to quote body in the edit menu. For example, I'll cut some of the body out here and then I'll quote what's remaining. Now we could make any necessary notes or edits. If you wish to remove the quotes, you may also unquote body here. You may also quickly clear information out of the notebook. Under edit, choose clear body to clear any content from the body field. The clear body command may only be used during the period that the body is editable. You may refresh a notebook to the version that is saved to the database if you have made a change that you would like to reverse. We just cleared the body from this notebook and when I choose refresh notebook page from the notebook menu, the saved version is reloaded and the original body text is restored. 
This only works, of course, if you have not yet saved your changes. If you wish to clear all the content from this page, choose Clear Page. Now the page is cleared. Again, this option is only available during the time period that the body of the notebook is editable. You may delete a notebook if you are the user who created the notebook. Root pages that have child pages may not be deleted. I'll go to the root or first page here to demonstrate that. Choose Delete Notebook Page under the Notebook menu. Now we see an error message. I may delete any notebook page that does not have child pages. I'll select this child notebook page that I created and under notebook in the menu bar, I'll choose delete notebook page. In this case, the attached images and files on this notebook page will also be deleted unless they are linked to another record. Now let's look at how to search for your lab's notebooks. Back to the main window in Scheherazade. First, let's clear the search tree by choosing this button with the eraser. Now, let's look under search and go to notebook. First, I'll search by owner. The current user's username is automatically loaded here. And I may search by type or enter body content. I have quite a few search fields available here. I'll enter Daniel Rario. We may also search by date. Let's use the button bar this time and choose notebook from the drop down. Press this button for search by date. I'll look for any notebooks created between February 14th and February 22nd. And I'll uncheck the first pages only box here to see all notebook pages, not just the first pages. Now all the notebook pages that fit the search criteria show. The title line in the searches show the title of the notebook page, status, lab, dates, times, username, and if the page is set to private. Private notebook pages in your lab will show in the search here, but are not readable unless you are the owner of the page. Let's see what happens when I try to open one of Leah Kerr's private pages. I get a pop-up can't touch this. Let's open this notebook. This notebook was created by me, but another lab member has also been adding pages. Notebooks may be shared across labs like this. This notebook page was created some days ago and the body content is now locked. The set time period has passed for making edits. When I click into the field, the body header turns red, signaling that I may not make any edits. At any point, I may also change the privacy or status of the notebook pages. There are a couple options. If I created the notebook and own the first page, then I can set and change the status for all the pages in the notebook, even those pages authored by others in my lab. To change the status of the entire notebook, I'll choose Set Notebook Status under the Edit menu. I'll change these to inactive now. You see all the pages are now marked inactive, including those created by Leah Kerr. I may also change the status of only the pages that I created by selecting set pages status. I'll choose active. Now you see the status of the pages that I created are changed to active, while the statuses of Leah's pages in this notebook were not changed. We may also change all of the notebook pages that are created by the current user from private to non-private or vice versa using the command under the edit field here. I'll set this to private now. This will change the privacy on only the pages that I created. My notebook pages are now set to private, but Leah Kerr's pages are not. When I click here, this field shows in red and is not editable. You may also download the notebook as an HTML file. Choose Report and go to HTML Notebook. I will download this and now we can open it up in the browser here.
This contains the current user's private pages, but will not contain other users' private pages except for a title line for that missing private page. To close the notebook window, choose the X button here or choose Close Notebook under the menu. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Please visit our webpages for any questions or for more information about Sesame.